So today is Memorial Day, the end of May, only a couple days from June, and I'm wearing a winter coat. This kind of weather is absolutely devastating to crops, which is why we use crop protection for things like high tunnels, low tunnels, greenhouses, <clears throat> mulching really deep. All of these things have to be done because weather's unexpected. <laughs> Weather is unpredictable. It is rainy, it is windy, it is cold, and this sucks. I had to blanket my horses because they lost their winter coat and they only have their summer coat and they're freezing. I'm out here, I forgot my gloves in the hay storage, uh, so I'm gonna have to go get those, but they're my winter gloves, my winter insulated leather gloves. My winter coat, double hatting it because it's freezing. I also have a river running through my property because we've had quite a bit of rain, which is not normal for Idaho. Idaho usually gets about eight inches of precipitation all year long, and that's a good year. We've had more than that, which means, now here's the benefit for that, because I'm not complaining about the weather, I'm truly not. Hay production. So as you can see, this is my alfalfa stack, and this is my grass stack. I don't have a lot of hay left, and I'm gonna to have to get some. So the first cutting, this, this is really, really good for. So hopefully we can get a really good cutting uh, from our farmer. Uh, we, don't, we don't grow hay ourselves. We definitely have to buy it and bring it in. So our hay guy is gonna have his water cut off in about August because we are in a serious drought situation. So this rainy weather, cooler weather, is fantastic for getting a really good first cutting. So we're, we're glad about that. But on the same note, I don't like being out in it. <laughs> but I am glad that I have the high tunnel ready so that we can circumvent this kind of weather um, hazard for, for this fall. Not doing any good right now because we didn't put the plastic up. We weren't really anticipating this kind of weather. It, it was not in the forecast until about six or seven days ago. By then it's like Nothing we can do about it. So we just work through what we've got. And the wind is blowing the, the rain sideways, like this way. That's how bad it is. I'm sure you can hear it. So I'm going to finish up my chores, kind of feed all the rabbits. Um, it looks like they're... They're staying relatively dry. We do have a, a tarp above them, keeping the rain out. The, uh, the chickens are undercover. They're staying undercover. I'm going to have to feed them because they can't go out and forage. So I do have to supplement their feed during times like this, which is fine. We have feed available for those specific reasons. But I'm going to let you go and feed all the animals. Bye.